Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. I've been chosen for MK Ultra style mind control, uh Morgellons disease, counterintelligence program, torture, uh basically uh covert drugging LSD, hypnotically inducing drugs, uh, subliminal mind programming, uh, basically screwing with everything in our lives until we felt as though we had no power, no choice, no freedom, uh, you know, bugging us out with, with hallucinogenic drugs till we thought that reality was not real anymore. And, uh, that little whispering voice inside your head that says, you know, Kill someone, kill yourself, kill your wife, jump out the window, put your head through the glass, do this bad thing, do that bad thing. Basically all the torments of hell. Uh, you know, this this thing, this system, this program, this entity, this nightmare. You know, uh, one of the biggest conversations that targeted individuals have, uh, besides how they could possibly have protect themselves is why is this happening why me and who is responsible now I think that's probably the biggest question the who is responsible question um, there are many theories and only the people that are involved in this really know um, there are people who theorize that it is uh, a alien intelligence from out of this world, uh, that it is the uh, Anunnaki, the Archons, the uh, Elohim, the uh, you know fallen angels, the um, Illuminati cult, the uh, shadow government, the neo-Nazis, the new fascist regime, the new world order, the uh, criminal gangs, the Mafia, the Rosicrucians, the Theosophists and Freemasons, Satanists, uh, Catholic Church, you know, goes on and on and on. Um, I guess, in all reality, it is those things. All those things and many more. This is a must be a global movement of some type. My theory is that the Illuminati cult, uh, Freemasonic, um, I don't know, my brain is in a fog from more gallons, uh, recruitment of new cult members. Uh, and this is a cult that worships Satan. So we're talking about Satanists. Satanists, the new Atlantis, the new Jerusalem, the new temple on the mount, uh, book of revelations. You know, we go round and round and round. And perhaps it's all those things. We know that the, uh, shadow government, the, uh, the uh, intelligence sectors, the government within the government, the black ops people, the people that sell drugs to our children and to us and destroy our social morale in this city, the people that go down to other countries and help the IMF take over, you know, those people who spy on everyone and everything and figure out ways to screw everyone and everything in order to get what they want, uh, those people who call everyone else assets or targets. Uh, you know, those types. Um, they're a perfect candidate for this. They've got the money. They know how to steal trillions. But there's more going on here. It's a good place for people to hide inside of the dark cover, deep darkness of trade craft. And, uh, you know, there's the Obama is the Antichristers. There's a lot of evidence mounting for that one. There is, uh, I don't know, the list goes on and on. And to some degree, it matters who's doing this. And to some degree, it doesn't matter who's doing this. 
Um, let's just say, for instance, that there is a large movement throughout the world that has been recruited through multi-generational trauma-based split you know m multiple personality disorder hierarchical programming of the human mind there are people who exist in this world who have been trained their entire life to be nothing but uh, a vessel an avatar for some other entities um, you know there are people who take this stuff very seriously and if you look to the foundations of the world and and you know the underpinnings of reality uh, you look through quantum physics about what really may be happening in the photonic creation of reality uh, the Higgs boson particle that makes up the field that gives all uh, particles mass you know this is uh, research into the underpinnings of reality and why would anybody want to know this stuff well it's interesting to find out how the world works and why the world works but of course there's many applications to this science perhaps you want to create your own universe your own dimension your own multi-dimensional universe I don't know I digress um, it seems to me that, that <coughs> The systems that are in place currently to take care of human society in the United States and in other civilized nations, governmental entities, social entities, political entities, uh, military and paramilitary policing entities, uh, correctional systems, educational systems, healthcare systems legal systems, judicial systems, financial systems have no interest in admitting to or acknowledging the level and depth of suffering caused by as yet unknown factors such as Morgellons, the CDC doesn't exist. The CDC doesn't exist, yeah, that's a Freudian slip. Now the CDC says it doesn't exist, as we all know. Um, so chalk one up for the CDC. You know, if you put every agency on a list that refused to help, who would you have left to ask? Yeah, that's what Max says. He says, and he's right. I know that many of you have gone from agency to agency seeking help and have been told, you must be crazy. What do you want? Drugs? Go and see a psychiatrist. We don't know anything about that. Sorry, we don't do that here. Uh, we'll contact you if we need any more information. Um, Oh, I was told to see the quality of life officer, quality of life crimes officer. Um, you know, if you go through the list of people who don't help you, who do you have left? You know, what, what, when, when, when are we going to wake up? You know, some of us are already very awake. <laughs> and we see and a lot of us have no idea what to do we realize that something is very very wrong in our lives in this country in our town our state our local or principality you know in the world I think there's more people who realize things are very very wrong than there are people who are making the things wrong but as of yet uh, most people are busy fearing for 
their personal safety for their home, for their job, for their sanity, for their food, for their warmth, for their roof over their head, for their children, for their education, for the, their job, for their position, for their... What would the neighbors think? There are many of us out there in the world who realize that injustice and disharmony and hatred and greed and pride and arrogance and foolishness and hubris and violent, merciless slaughter of innocence. Uh, you know, greed, I said that one. Greed and uh, greed and um, just not caring anymore. You know, there are many of us who see this, and we don't want this in our world. We don't want a world that 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 we are forced to be slaves from the moment we're born. Just like in the Bible, you know. We haven't progressed <laughs> any further than that. We just think that we have. We just believe that we're free. And you know, in some ways, we had we had put together this system uh, of freedoms, democracies, and, and it was a good thing, at least on paper. But. Um, I think the people who want control, and this is a this is a, a a sickness. It's a reaction. It's actually a normal reaction to loss of control. The world is uh, out of our control, you know. So we want to control it. We want to control life. We want to control death. We want to control every moment in between. We want to control the weather. We want to control what our food is, you know, when we go to sleep, when it's warm, when it's cold, how we feel, if we're happy, if we're sad, if we're not. And I can understand that. Suffering is just that, suffering. And too many people are suffering. And not enough of us are doing much to help one another ease the suffering. Uh, you know, I'm always looking when I have a, a moment past the suffering that I'm going through to wonder if there's anything I can do to ease suffering of others. And honestly, I don't have any money. I don't have much physical health. I don't know how much time I have left on this planet. You know, I don't have a car. I can't get around much. Um, I'm weak. I'm tired. I'm depressed. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. I'm sleep deprived. I'm medicated so that I don't bounce off the walls and explode into a million pieces. Um, and I don't think that uh, a whole lot of human resources places are going to, like, Say, yes, Timothy, we have just the place for you. Come in and volunteer some time here with us. Maybe I'm wrong. But, um, you know, it's something I'm going to look into. But, uh, and I went to the hospital a few times earlier on before I started to look more like, uh, like this, you know, like I'm dying and shit. And, um, I was interested in volunteering to help with like premature infants because I was watching a show that told us that premature babies need physical contact uh, all the more so that every human child needs physical contact loving reassuring physical human contact and that these premature babies need it even more to help secure their development and, and I understand that. Um, unfortunately, they weren't interested in, in availing me of my services, but um, 
the reason I tell this story is because it's it hints to me at the way one of the ways that we're going to make this world better um, if the agencies we've created to help us aren't interested in helping us and the politicians that we've voted into office aren't interested in, in helping us with the situations they've created then the only thing left to do is to help ourselves and help each other and if that can be just you know the fact that, that one other person out there sees my face and says my god this poor guy I know just how he feels because I'm going through the same thing isn't it nice to know that I'm not completely insane uh, you know if that can help somebody then then thank you you know, then it's worth it. Um, I am tortured and tormented um, for doing this, and my assumption is that it would be uh, that way, regardless of whether it was done or not. Um, you know, personally, I had no other, no other avenue for you know, to express myself and uh, the, the pressure of going through, you know, this high level MK Ultra torment requires that we release some pressure, you know, and that is why I recommend uh, for everyone that they make videos like this and post them anywhere that will listen to them you know, uh, until such time as the system deems that we're, you know, they don't want us anymore, that there's no point in scaring the public with this propaganda any further, you know, I think that's one of the only reasons that we're left alive to do this, that's because they see a purpose in it, and it brings about fear from others who don't want to get involved, who don't want to change the system, who don't want to raise their voices, who don't want to say anything because they're afraid that the same thing will happen to them. And my assumption has to be that the people involved in this are under the same threat of, you know, duress and coercion. You know, once you find yourself in the in the in the middle of something like this, how do you say no thank you? I think I made a wrong turn somewhere back there. Um, I don't know. I guess that's enough for now. Thanks for listening. Um, God have mercy on us all.